Hello guys, welcome to the Rogue channel. My name is William, or oh, people also like to call me Spoit as that's my username. Today we're gonna do some questions that I am going to answer. So yeah, let's uh, hop right into it. I joined Rogue because I was looking to become a competitive player and I have a good friend called Tristan or Satus. He talked to me in DMs and was like, yeah, we're gonna make this roster change and we're looking to see if you wanna fill that spot. And I was like, yeah, let's, uh, let's do a few trials and scrims and see how it goes. And I, was, and I really liked the environment as well as the way he contacted me and introduced me to everyone, as well as all the players got involved uh, with the whole thing. And I feel like uh, I got a really good place uh, and a good you know, relationship with all the guys. I am a corner creator as well as I'm a pro player now. So I'm doing, trying to do a mix. Obviously pro play is going to be my full focus as that's like what I want to achieve right now with these guys and I feel like we can achieve some great things. Of course, things take time, a lot of practice and whatnot. But uh, yeah, pro play is the, is the play now. I don't really have any background in esports. Like as an esport player, I've mostly like played games uh, for fun uh, since I was a kid and you know, a few years ago, like two, three years ago, I managed to get into like YouTube and other stuff. I, I kind of blew up uh, in Rainbow Six as a YouTuber. So that was like my main focus from then and on onwards. But yeah, I was just playing it for fun. I think it's really fun as of late that I've been able to create uh, like gaming as a job as well. I, I can play it full time and like live of it, which is a, an incredible thing for me personally. It's really exciting and uh, I'm looking forward to what the future holds for sure. I just turned 18 like one and a half month ago and I come from Sweden. I have a mother from Thailand and I have a dad from Sweden so I'm a mix basically. My goals I think within Siege would be to obviously with majors and I think that's like the team's goal right now as well. Uh, we want to obviously want to improve, we're, we're quite new, like I'm brand new to this lineup and I just want to practice with the guys and you know, be as good as possible. Obviously everything takes time and I think a goal uh, for all of us would be to win the Invitational, of course, before everyone like retires or whatnot. But yeah, that's like the main goal right now, I think uh, we want to achieve and I do believe we can do it. My daily routine, it depends on like what the focus is and where I am. Like right now, me and the guys are at the boot camp, so we we have like different routines to usually what we are used to at home, but it's a it's a great like bond experience here with the team. Try and have fun with your friends. Like, wake up in time for the scrims. Obviously, I know we've been slacking a little bit, and me and some other guys. But um, yeah, like I said, it's different when we're home, obviously, because then everyone is used to their own routines, and a lot of people like to work out before uh, scrimming and play days and whatnot. But uh, it's a little bit difficult now when we're at boot camp, but. Once we're home, it's gonna be easier for sure. In in Siege, I play with uh, my graphics settings on low, most of them. I think I play with shadows on medium. I have TAA off, and that's pretty much it. Try and get as many frames as possible, basically. My resolution is just uh, 1920 times uh, 1080, or if some people may say aspect ratio, it would be. I, I tend to switch a lot, but right now I'm playing 60 by 10. Kind of liking it. My role uh, for the team, that would be entry, playing entry for them right now, yeah. I've been playing this game for seven years. Obviously, I started off by having fun. I think to always improve at something you're doing, you always need to have fun, doesn't matter what it is. If you don't have fun doing it, you're not gonna improve. And I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun with my friends playing the game. And eventually, I just like met new people and tried to always meet people that want to be better and better, that want to improve and not the people that want to just like just stay at where they are or like you know downgrade themselves i always trying to like stay around people that I want that have a good mindset and trying to improve as much as possible and i feel like that has had a big impact on my gameplay as well like the way i try and play the game and whatnot of course and it takes time of course it's dedication it's the same thing as the you were to work out you don't like get uh, a lot of mass or you don't get a lot of big muscles just in like one day it takes time and dedication for sure because like I recently did um, content creation uh, full time, that's because I dropped out of school. Uh, I couldn't uh, match all of the things together. Even just doing content creation full time with um, school was a lot. It was a lot of stress on my head and my mind and my mental. So I had to drop off school because uh, I know I can go back to school whenever I want in Sweden. We have a great uh, like school system so I can always go back. 
but uh, I wanted to take this opportunity like to the fullest, so that's why I decided to drop out of school. I, I like to work out uh, outside of uh, Siege, and I like to spend a lot of time with my friends. I think that's really important to have the like the, the social network with friends. Uh, I think that's really important. But I would say the main thing outside of Siege, as a as another subject, would be probably be like working out. Last picture on my phone. I gotta check. It might be, yeah, it's probably from boot camp. It's actually the setup I'm playing on. On this boot camp, of course. Yeah. Oh, favorite song right now. Um, it's actually, it's a, it's a, let me see. I have it on my Spotify here. Uh, it's a, it's a by Swedish rapper. It's called Feelings by Einar. It's a really good song. Favorite food. Steak and fries never go wrong. A proper good steak with fries and some nice sauce. You can't beat it. It's so good. My favorite teammate. The thing is, everyone has different personalities, so I can't really pick one guy uh, out of the team that I think is the, you know, because everyone has different personalities. So I, I, I can't, I can't answer that question now. Most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me that I can remember. Oh, I know one. Um, it's not too embarrassing because I have never met the people after. But when I was on vacation and we were in a speedboat, and I'm really bad with like, um, I, I'm, I'm seasick, I was seasick. So there's a lot of people crowded, um, just sitting around the speedboat, and I, like we're just sitting there waiting for the arrival, obviously. And I just threw up in front of everyone. I, th I thought that was so embarrassing. But uh, to be honest, like now I don't mind uh, too much. Uh, yeah, but yeah, it was, it was really embarrassing at the moment, yeah. Something I'm very proud of, but I take for granted, or I don't like, appreciate as much will probably be like uh, like the my content creation side uh, like I, I still can't believe like I've got uh, like the the subscribers and stuff I've got on YouTube I, I still can't like believe it's really like it's actual people that you know press the button it just doesn't feel real but I can't appreciate it too much because it doesn't feel too real you know what I mean I don't do that many chores at home to be honest uh, I'm still mommy's kid so she does it everything but yeah like if I have to do something that's extremely boring, like doing the laundry. I mean, that's not fun, I guess. Or cleaning, cleaning is the worst. Like, yeah, organizing and cleaning, I don't like it. But once I, I have it done, it's, it, I'm so, uh, so relieved. We've actually, uh, Leon here has been doing a lot of work. Leon, Deepak, and Tristan Meepy, I think, are the guys that have done the most work so far, cleaning up and stuff. The messiest one so it has to be crying, I think. It has to be him. It has to be crying, because in the bathroom, the fir I think the first night, the first shower everyone had, his underwear was still just on the floor, just on the floor, just and it was and it the underwear was on the floor for like a good like four days I think, so definitely crying. I don't I don't know, like the future like nobody knows what's gonna happen in the future like I have no idea when I wanna work, but I definitely do not wanna work like a nine to five though. I wanna like. To be honest, something to do with traveling, I think. That's something I would like to do, for sure. Uh, I've visited uh, exotic countries like Thailand I've, uh, a few times. I've been to Mexico recently, like a year ago. I haven't been to like Greece or Spain, which I would like to, but like those are the, the two most exotic countries I've been to so far, yeah. Uh, I would like to visit um, Italy. I would like to visit Brazil. And I would like to see somewhere in Asia, like Japan for sure. I want to go to Japan sometime. I speak Swedish, English, um, and I speak a tiny bit of German. And uh, that's about it. That's about it. I do not play any instruments. I can do a little. I can play a little bit of guitar, like a few. Um, what do you call it? Chords. Yeah. Uh, it's it's uh, it's just it's just on the spot. It's hard to come up with one. Sour candy is the favorite one. Don't have one. I actually can't remember it. It's super sad. I actually can't remember why I, or how I came up with it. I've had like different variations of my name before that I know. I don't have it anymore, but I, I, I remember I stole that part and then put it in my name. But now it's gone. So it now it's just Spoit. So I, I can't remember how I got the name Spoit though. Can't. Thank you guys for watching this video. This was a few questions about me. And. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to tick the bell, uh, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Peace out.